Welcome back to Harry Potter Secrets Unveiled. Well, what? Oh, what channel is this? Oh, sh Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Tesla Raj. Today, I'm super excited. We have a software update for my wife's 2023 Tesla Model Y. We got this vehicle back in December, and when it was delivered, it had no ultrasonic sensors. Now, just for context, her previous 2016 Toyota RAV4 had ultrasonic sensors and used to tell her how close she was to hitting something. We've driven for the last four months like this without any sensors at all. In retrospect, my 2018 Tesla Model 3 has ultrasonic sensors. All Teslas have been being delivered since end of last year with no ultrasonic sensors and no software fix until today. So I've got uh, the software that is running in this 2023 Tesla Model Y is software uh, 2023.6.8. Uh, I have a software update waiting on the screen for 2023.6.9. So what I want to show you is just how much it improves. Just how good is this vision-based sensor system? It's no longer using the sensors because it doesn't have them, but now it's utilizing the cameras to tell how far an object is. And we're going to look at just how good it is and maybe compare it to my 2018 Tesla Model 3 that has the actual sensors. How close, how accurate is it? Let's take a look and let's see. Is Tesla's vision-based sensor system really good enough to replace ultrasonic sensors? Let's take a look. Okay, uh, we have the drone up in the air and this is a 2023 Tesla Model Y with no ultrasonic sensors pre-update. And just to show you the update software. So right now I'm on uh, 2023.6.8 and here it is right here. So you can see 2023.6.8 and I've got 2023.6.9 waiting to be updated. So without further ado, let's test it out and let me pull into the spot and you'll see and we'll measure. You'll see I'm not going to get any prompts of anything. So let's watch and see what happens. So you can see how close I am to almost hitting this car. No prompts. Of course, it shows me a prompt. So I'm going to reverse readjust myself so I can get into this parking spot perfectly. And you will see I have cars next to me. I also have a plant wall in front of me and uh, no beeps, nothing. I'm way, way too close. Now there is a line that shows the curb. It looks like, but, uh, yeah, no prompts of any sort here, and there is the wall. So, pre-update. Let's go ahead and update it and see. Let me show you outside what it looks like. So here's how close I am to the left side car. And then on the right side, we've got a lot more space. Um, but check out the front. So yes, I was over the curb. It was reading the curb by a line, but no beeps. If I wasn't paying attention, the kids are yelling. Yeah, this could be a problem, uh, very much so. So let's go and enable the software update and see how it changes things. Okay, so while we're waiting for the software update to complete, I thought I'd read you what the software update says. So, so 2023.6.9 Park Assist Autopilot Improvements. Tesla Vision Park Assist provides visual and audio alerts of surrounding objects. The feature uses the occupancy network to predict high definition outlines of objects 360 degrees around the car. Note, Tesla Vision Park Assist is for guidance purposes only and is not a substitute for an aware driver. Please be attentive and avoid obstacles as required. Now, I don't think that warning is there for ultrasonic sensors because I feel like it's it's probably more accurate than this, but uh, I'm excited to see, and we're still uh, stuck here at 60%, so as soon as it's done, we'll take a look. All right, there it is. We've got the new Park Assist. That's what I just read to you guys there, but this is the big stuff, so let's park in this spot again and let's see what it's gonna magically tell us. Let's go. Perfect example, check this out. So it says I'm 24 inches away from the curb. Let's just see how accurate that is. Oh, 
24 inches. Here's the curb. Here is the good old handy dandy tape measure. Let's get it out to 24. Here is the touching from the back of the bumper. And I want to show you guys this. This is actually pretty impressive. If I can get it to stay. Okay, so there it is to the curb. Now, right to the curb is actually 29 inches. Um, I mean, of course, if you look straight up, the curb is actually at 26. So it said that we were at 24. So two inches of accuracy, not bad. Now, of course, here it's got the camera in the back. But let's pull into the parking spot and see what it does. All right, so we've got the drone in the air. Let's go ahead and uh, pull into that spot again and see just how it will work. So. Here we go. We're going to pull into the spot. I'm going to try to do it similarly to how I did it last time. So we're getting a stop here. Um, which clearly says stop, but I can see from outside that we've got some space if you look at the drone footage. So let's just keep going here. So now it tells me to stop right here. Okay, it clearly says stop. It's turned red here. That's great. Let's go out and see just exactly where it is. I'm getting orange on the sides. Um, so I'm guessing that's, I mean, I've got a good amount of room on both sides here. Look, I'll even open the door and I can open it up to the two click mark. So enough space. Let's go out and look at the front. Let's bring our tape measure. So it told us to stop. We've got a little bit of clearance. Let's see exactly how much we've got. So from the bumper, let's just put that right on the edge there. It's about 10 inches. Uh, but if we actually look at it to the edge, it's more closer to the six inch mark. So here there's about six inches. Now what I'm curious is, obviously the camera on the car saw this curb as we were pulling in. What if something was in front that got put there like a child? that was kneeling down in front of the car before you turn the car on. So it has no idea that you're there, would it still recognize it? Let's test that. Okay, so my daughter's gonna help me out with this experiment. The car is currently off, there's no one inside, and she is going to kneel down right in front of the bumper. Okay, so there's no way. Could you get a little bit closer to the car, sweetie? Yeah, okay, so she's hidden. I'm gonna go and turn the car on, and let's see if it can even tell that she's there. So watch, we're gonna get in. And we're going to pretend like we're putting the car in drive. So I'm going to put on the brakes and we're going to hit drive. And as you can see, we're in drive. It doesn't tell that there's anyone in front of the car. Now, if I reverse the car, also same thing. It doesn't tell me. Now, if I start to reverse a little bit out of the way, let's see if it sees her when the cameras pick her up. She's there on the ground. I can now see her. And if I put the car in drive, now it senses someone there. See how that works? So the cameras need to be able to be seen, which is a good call out that we need a bumper camera. That's the only way to solve this problem. There she is. And this tells me that she is, what was it saying? Something, but she's close. <laughs> she's close, it reads it, the camera sees it, so yeah. One thing to be careful of that static objects that are not moving that get placed out of view of the camera before you start moving is not going to be noticed. It's one flaw. Uh, oh, let me show you how it works on my Model 3. Okay, so now we're with my 2018 Model 3 that has these ultrasonic sensors right there. And so she's going to crouch right in front, no one in the car. And this time what you'll see is... The car will know that she's there right off the bat. As soon as I hit drive, can't see her. Shift the car, let me close the door. Shift the car to drive. Huh, it doesn't see her. Oh, there she is, 13 inches away. 
12 inches away. And now, and you can't, you can't see her down there. Maybe like a little bit. I can't really see her, but yeah, there you go. She's, she was there. Oh, now it's not showing her. So that's kind of interesting that it's doing that. If I shift it into reverse, I shift it back into drive. Um, interesting. You shift it back into reverse. Oh, there, now she's showing up 25 inches away, but she hasn't popped up. So it is a bit different than, than before. Very, very interesting. So I'm here parked in front of my garage. That's the garage right there. And you can see like, look at the range that it's going through. 17, 18, 14. At one point it told me to stop. At one point it was at 25, 22, 21. So you can see the range that the camera's having a tough time predicting just how far it is. Let's see with our measuring tape just how far that is. Let's get down and look. and see if it was anywhere in that range. So, from the garage to the car, it is about 16 inches. So it was pretty, it was pretty close, pretty accurate, but it was just all over the place. At one point it was saying 25, which is not accurate, but I mean, it was hovering around the 14, 15. I'll give it the range. I'll give it the benefit. Okay, so now we're in my Model 3 and here's the garage door. Here's the car and you'll see there's no like teetering of the number. It's exactly 25 inches away. And to verify it, Let's grab the measuring tape and let's go and measure. Okay. From the garage door to the car. Oh my God. It's like literally butter accurate. So I would say it's 26 inches is what I'm seeing. So one inch off. And that's thanks to these little circular dots on your car. That, those are called ultrasonic sensors. They're on the front, they're on the back. And these ones? yeah, those are bouncing frequency from them that bounces off the objects and gives a very accurate distance of how far they are. A little bit better than camera, but uh, yeah. Okay, so there you have it. Non ultrasonic sensor vehicles now have a vision-based parking assist. God, that's a lot to, to say and to think of, but it's a solution. It's a solution for all of Tesla's vehicles that don't have ultrasonic sensors. Uh, better late than never, and rather have something than have nothing. Um, I'm actually quite impressed with it. Is it as good as ultrasonic sensors? No, but for what it is, it's pretty good. I do feel like it's missing one thing, which is a camera based on the bumper. It's hard for it to predict static uh, objects. So if my kids were playing in front of the car and I shifted the car to drive uh, without seeing them first, that would be a problem. Uh, but I guess that's where the clause comes in is to be aware of your surroundings. You're responsible. So be aware of your surroundings. It's not gonna be able to predict everything and it's not gonna be as accurate, but within a couple inches, it's not bad. And I'm glad to have at least something, something to beep and warn you so that you don't make a silly, stupid mistake or not see anything at all. It's like, you were blind before and now you've got 80% of your vision back, which is better than being blind. So I'll take it for what it is. I'm interested, what do you think? Leave them down in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys next time. See ya.